welcome back. Um, before I start, I'm just going to mention my lips because I'm wearing a kind of ombre-ish shirt. You can tell it's kind of light purple with the white and it's got like the writing and light purple. So me being the creative person that I am used the dose of colors that I, or no, sorry, <laughs> I'm going backwards here, the Lorac, very, very pigmented purple one I had the, on the other day with the dose of colors over top to make it lighter. And then I thought I'd throw in a little Jeffree Star uh, virginity, which is a nice light color. And I put that right in the middle and blended it out. So now you can hardly see. Sorry guys, once I get a ring light and all the proper equipment for my beauty room, I will have like perfect videos like everybody else, but this is all I have to work with right now. I'm sorry, but it, it's really pretty and it matches the shirt to a T. So anyways, my talk today is basically my road from young adult to mature adult in a span of three months. So September 2015, I was all normal. And you must know I've been skinny all my life. Never gained weight. I could eat whatever I want. Never gained weight. Basically 110 pounds to 120, 25 pounds tops. Um, I basically went from my normal 34B to 36B cup boobs to a 38C and sometimes a bigger. I have more boobs now than I had in my entire life and I used to want boobs, but now I don't because as you can tell, the sweatshirt is not supposed to be this tight up here. It's a sweatshirt, but it's not tight down here. See, it's loose. It's these things that are popping out. And All my life, I wanted boobs. I said to my mom, you know, you couldn't have given me extra because I was always small. You know, small and perky, but that's pretty much what I was. Now I'm big and perky. <laughs> But anyways, I put on 30 pounds within three months. And I've always had body dysmorphia, always. Like, my whole life I was skinny, but I still in my mind thought I was fat. And how I am now, I'm actually a little less now than I was at my peak. My peak, I peaked at 162. When I eat healthy, I don't. I have not even changed anything in that time. So I went to the doctor and I'm like, come on, like, what's going on here? So he gave me a physical, did all the blood work, checked for stuff. Ding! Menopause. And it didn't dot on me because I didn't get my period for a year. And I'm like, but I've always been like that. Like my, my period, I would get it. I would, you know, stop for six months then get it twice a month. Like it was never a regular period. So it never even dawned on me, right? Well, you're, you know, he told me about my estrogen levels and all that kind of stuff. And at this point I was 145. And I went on estrogen and progesterone. Well, that's what made me go up to 162. So I stopped that right away and I went down again. But I can't get any lower. No matter what I do, if I starve myself, if I eat healthy, I just can't lose it. It won't go away. It won't. And I have to buy new bras and new clothes because nothing fits. Like it fits everywhere else, but it doesn't fit here. And I don't mean to, like, I have low-cut tops, and I can't help it for. I used to buy push-up bras to make myself look like I have a bit of cleavage. 
Now I just wear a normal bra and there's cleavage galore. They're popping out of everywhere. You can ask anybody. I was a tiny, tiny, petite thing with little boobs. And now I'm a mature adult going through menopause, mood swings, hot flashes, drive me crazy. I hate them. And the weight gain. I would rather have my period twice a month for the rest of my life than go through this. And I found out my mom went through it for 10 years. <laughs> I'll be 52. I give away so many clothes and sell so many clothes because they just didn't fit. So I had to buy new clothes and it's just, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Anybody out there, help me, please. Share this video with your friends and, and family. And if anybody out there is going through it, help me. I'm only 42 years old. I always teased and said, you know, I could have been, you know, given a little extra in the chest area. Now I'm given too much. I know most people would be happy with it. And yeah, I, it's a bonus sometimes. Like it looks good, but not when you're wearing a sweatshirt that's supposed to be like this. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. I'm sounding like a crazy lunatic. Am I not? I'm sounding like a nut, but I just, I have it all written down here and I have health issues on top of it. Okay. I have health issues. That, that's another video. Okay. To talk about. So on top of menopause with health issues, gaining weight, mood swings, hot flashes, yeah <laughs> i'm a walking menace <laughs> it just it happens so fast i've been housebound my insecurities are way up there i am completely insecure you know i was on you now and someone asked if i was a grandma really do i look like a grandma <laughs> Please. I mean, I know 42, but I've always looked younger for my age. Like, I don't think I look 42. I mean, when I was 35, I was still getting carded. Like, this was more of a, a rant video on my going from a young adult to a mature adult within a very close time span and it hits you it hits you hard it hits you mentally it hits you physically that probably added to my depression because the weight gain was huge i've always been worried about my weight even though i was skinny i still had body dysmorphia i always thought i was fat always I had eating disorders when I was younger, which I will make videos of later. I have them written down. I used to have bulimia and anorexia. That was when I was a teen. Um, I mean, I've always had weight issues, even though I had no weight issues. You know what I mean? Like, I would look in the mirror and I would see a fat person where someone else would see some stick figure, right? And I've been like that all my life. So gaining weight, that much weight in that short a period, really, really affected my psyche. It really, really did. And I don't know about you guys, anybody else out there who is going through menopause. How did it happen? Did it happen gradually? Did it happen instantly? Because mine happened instantly. It was... One day I woke up and I was fat, miserable, and didn't know what was going on until I went to the doctor and found out what was going on. It's really, really hard to wake up every morning and deal with it along with my other health issues. It, it's hard. It, it, it bothers me every day. I, I can go days and, and just look at myself like I think I'm not eating anything bad. I'm eating healthy. I'm a vegetarian. I don't, you know, I 
walk a lot. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. If anybody knows or has any idea of what to do or if there's any vitamin out there, please let me know. I'm begging, I'm begging for help. <laughs> this is a real tough one for me to handle. It's, uh, it's a hard pill to swallow when when you go through something like that and it affects you emotionally and physically and it's just so much to deal with in such a little time so if anybody else is out there going through this you're not alone you are definitely not alone i am here with you talk to me maybe we can help each other Let's get the women together and, you know, like I said, hashtag positivity. I'm always about positivity, but when you're going through something like this, it is so hard to be positive about your body, about your mind, about your psyche. It's just so hard. And I think a lot of people who go through this know what I'm talking about, and I would love to hear from you guys. I really really would. So until my next video, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you and keep smiling. Bye guys.